like and 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 like they it was kind of it was kind of this like mutual understanding like like I'm just using Susie as a random name but Susie didn't feel like she could come to me because they she knew how busy I was you know right. what I mean and so it was just like it just didn't it it was just like too 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 much and it sucks though it sucks and it kind of like it kind of like uh, fucks with me a little bit because if if I would have had the right people who like just were able to fucking understand right. what they were there for and like what the vision was and to endure the hard times of them being upset or them being like or or the manager in their ear being like oh jake paul is taking 20 percent of you oh come over here we can get you out of that contract and uh he doesn't need to be fucking taking 20 percent. he doesn't do anything for you uh, wake up like I got you all the the followers that you have the reason why you're able to even make money so if I was able to endure if people the people on the team were able to endure like all those hard times and like push through and stick and focus to the vision like imagine if team 10 was like still a thing right now yeah. it would be the biggest fucking group on on online and uh th that's why it's like the vision was there it's just like the execution and it's it's probably my fault you know it's uh, like i was the leader of it i'm not it's not even probably it's it's definitely my fault i was young and didn't have the right people around didn't pick the right people to to blow up and you know it's all just a learning experience but i i, I think it's just like it's hard to deal with influencers and young kids and fame and money and right. all that shit. So when was the last time you talked to Alyssa? We recently, recently. Um, so I was trying to get her to be in uh, my music video. Right. Um, it and now occurs to me that we really haven't talked about music this whole time, even though that's kind of it's kind of a thing. The big thing besides <laughs> the boxing. Yeah. So I was trying to get Alyssa to be um, in the music video for my new song. And she was like down because I wrote the song about uh, a couple of, like different of my exes, mm -hmm. but like part one of them was her. And I was like, okay, like my marketing brain clicks on, like how is how do I get the most exposure? Like, okay, it'd be crazy if Alyssa was in the video. And we had like squashed our beef and like we're cool and all that stuff, which people probably don't know. Like before her and Banks broke up or after? Before, okay. yeah. So like I squashed my beef with Banks, squashed it with Alyssa, and then they broke up after that. Um, <clears throat> but I was like, you want to be in the video? And she was like down and down, down. And she was like, yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And then like the night before, she was just like, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. Oof. And so... Um, yeah, but that was that was the last time we talked. <laughs> oh, okay. Or no, we talked, but we talked like after the song came out. Do you feel like um, you're like hung up on her at all emotionally? No, I, there's like I've definitely had closure. I think for a lot, I think for a, a long time, I didn't realize how much I liked her until after the like. I think once the shit with like Logan happened, mm. and then like I had to like kick her out, and then once she was gone, I think I realized like, oh shit, like. That girl was actually a really cool girl, and I actually liked her more than I thought I did. Mm. But I, again, I was just like fucking hustling every single day, involved in my business, and that was my main priority. And so I wasn't able to really focus on the relationship that we did had, which is did have, which is why it went south on both sides of it. But yeah, I definitely went through a period where I was like, "Damn, that girl's dope!" Like I liked her more than I realized I did. Mm. Um, but, uh, but it's been so long and there's like been closure. How do you feel when you're seeing like her calling Banks out for cheating on her as somebody who's sort of been a crucial player <sighs> on... in this whole story? Are you watching that and you're like, wow, yeah, that's fucking hilarious, but also kind of sad. It's, it's sad for Alyssa, but like, I feel like what's the, there's a lot of weird shit to talk about there, but the sad part is like, okay, Alyssa, didn't you learn your lesson like the first time to like not put your business like your relationships online mm. like that like that's where i think it's messy and then where it's also messy is like how banks came at me so hard for cheating on Alyssa mm. and like made me a villain to half the internet because i cheated on Alyssa and because uh, like you know and then he he goes and does the same thing, apparently. You guys are awesome cheaters. I'm going to be honest with you. These fucking successful YouTubers, of course they're going to cheat on you. I'm it, sorry. It doesn't yeah. matter how hot you are. Yeah. <laughs> it's the sad truth, dude. It's fucking fat. I'm sorry, Alyssa. No, it's it's true, dude. Like, this world, like, LA is not the fucking city 
to find like love. Do you imagine how, <laughs> how normal, not, gr bro. normal girls are like? Alyssa Violet's getting cheated on by all these guys. What chance do I have to not get cheated on? No chance. I think with social media in general, like it's just so hard to be faithful in a relationship. Mm. There's so much opportunity. There's so there's, there's so much like the grass is greener on the other side. Yeah. Um, it just fucking I, like, and, and especially in LA, like you know, like there's just girl girls will throw themselves at you. You know, and especially if you're in like the club, like nightlife scene and all, all right. that shit, and it just gets messy, real messy, quick. real messy. Ain't that the truth? I'm gonna be honest with you. I think that the new song is pretty good. Thank you, man. I was expecting it to not be that good. I heard it. And I'm like, you know what? This is this is a lot of growth going on here. Yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Uh, and even my other homies who are around who like literally don't even know who the fuck you are, pretty much. They were like, <laughs> that was good. They're like, it was good. They were, they were they were down. Thank you, man. So yeah, good. I I uh, I was really happy with the with the feedback and and uh, I've I've never actually gotten so much positive feedback on on a song that that I've done before. And I, there was a lot of like fans or people who were like, I don't like Jake Paul, but this is actually good. Right. And to me, that was like, I was like a, a mini success. I was like, yes, that's a big like, W, yeah, a big W. Because you know, I love I love music, and again, it goes back to like put the camera down from vlogging and like who am i as a person like i fucking love music right. i love boxing and like music something where like i don't have to like fucking try to like it it's end endlessly creative right. for me um and it just the process of it is so fun and it just and uh and it's something i love doing and so i've just been putting in a ton of time to like learn learn the craft and and just try things, work hard, like put in put in my hours because you can't just like say, okay, I'm gonna do something and and become good at it. Like you have to try and fail and try and fail and try and fail. And so I've just been it's something I've been taking super seriously, like behind the scenes. Um and just yeah, just getting getting better and working with different people and um it's it's like something i see myself doing in five years like i want to be on my own tours like fucking turning up like crowd surfing like with my fucking older fans getting crunk as fuck like that's that's where i see myself going and and uh and it's a hard it's it's gonna be hard you know it's not you can't just do music there's so much competition there's so many incredible people out there and so um for me i'm just like working working at it and seeing seeing where it goes are you not gonna put out the collab that you did with nle choppa who we just did saw you earlier? talk to him about it i didn't bring it up i <laughs> thought about it a little bit but then i yeah. remember that you said you might not even put it out so i wasn't sure if it would... yeah i might i think i think i'm gonna put it out um it's i feel like it's gonna get backlash though really were you talking about dracos and shit no not about guns oh, okay but sure. no, like, <laughs> but like definitely like rapping more in it right. and i think there's like obviously it's the stigma with my name of like oh like jake paul like and his music sucks because i did put out shit songs like fucking this old songs that like I, I can't even listen to them. like it makes my ears bleed right um and so like obviously i have that track record of like putting out like just this like youtube shit music um but that i'm like rapping in like pr pretty hardcore uh and so I, like i just don't know what like the audience's reaction to it would be or like an outside community reaction to it but the video is so sick like mm. the music video for it is like it's almost too fire to the point where like like i and i'm talking about like the video itself i'm not even talking about the song like steve O's in it like it's obviously nle choppa like there's like helicopters and like semi trucks and Porsches and donuts and motorcycles. And like, it's like, I put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. So it, for me, like I want to put it out, but I just don't know if like, if the timing will be right because I don't want, I don't want to like make a false step mm. in the music space because i've already of done this that new identity that you're kind of pushing now yeah exactly so because i've already done i've already made like bad steps and like bad moves in the in the space and like done stupid shit and put out trash songs so i just don't want to like 
hurt myself or shoot myself in the foot when I'm smart enough now to like realize that. Uh, but I don't know. Chop and I like are cool and like you know it happened organically. That's the other thing. People just be like, oh, you, he Chopper got paid for the feature. Chopper got paid for the feature. Like he just got the bag. Um, and I just don't want like, which is not true, but I don't want that to be like become a thing. Right. Um, so he didn't get paid. No, it just happened organically. Yeah, cause Chopper. So right when he dropped a uh, shot of flow, like a couple days later, um, my friend hit him up and like he showed me the video. He's like, yo, because my one friend Jada Barber is like friends with so many people. Shout out to Jay. Yeah, shout out Jay to Jay. Jay has cut my hair before. Yeah, know? he's the plug. I don't, he just knows like everyone somehow. He's like, oh, like you and Chapa should do something. I hit I hit him up and he's down. And so we, he came over to the, my house and like we we hung out and uh, and I had the song already recorded and, the, and there was an open verse. And I, and he played it. He's like, oh fuck with this. Like he's like, damn. Like I don't know you could rap, and he just did did the verse, and that's how that's how it happened. And he's just a cool kid. Like you know, I kind of seen like his yeah. rise stardom, which is fucking sick. So. He is a cool ass dude. Yeah. I have just I just talked to him an hour before this, and he's he's got the personality for sure. Yeah, and he's he's smart. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. So yeah, but. It just like going like me going into like the like putting myself out there into the hip hop space like that. It's just like just like a like a fine line that I just like need to be careful with. Definitely, I'll I, I you know what I'm gonna do? I'm I'm gonna play. I'll play you the the video after. Oh, all right, good idea. And yeah. I want to see what you think about it. I need to see that. Um. Yo, so I feel like we covered like the majority of the shit, like the music, the fucking boxing, the love life, the the past business attempts, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Oh, that was a good summary. Yeah. Anything no, we missed? Fire. No, I think it's good, bro. Like Yeah. Oh, chilling. There's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Thank so, you for I feel having good me, about bro. This. We have hand towels now. That's fire. You need a hand towel? I'm sure you got to, plenty of team towels. Is this I, I saw Chapa get some merch. Do oh, I yeah. get some merch? Anything you want. We got socks. We got these new hats. I want the kandamas, bro. Oh yeah, definitely. I always watch your videos. I'm like, really? I'm like, yes. yeah, I'm like, how the fuck do you do that? I I'm dead. <sighs> Man, you might get into that shit like me and just fucking never be able to think about anything else ever again. You got some it runs my brain. Actually, I need this one. You can get the pink one. You want the pink I one? I got this one. Yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. It's like a lean kandamas, but you probably know exactly what it's about. Thank you ever man. drink lean? I haven't. I haven't. Um, I got you. Do you, you like it? <laughs> no, it's bad news. You don't want it. Yeah, no. I've, I've, I've heard it's like dangerous. <laughs> it is fun, I fuck but with it's like, terrifying. I fuck with like other shit, but like not. <laughs> but it's so normalized. Like I remember the first time someone was like, hey, you want some? And I was just like, no. But like. It's so normalized, I feel like. In LA, hell yeah. But then you forget sometimes you'd be talking about drugs and shit on like people in fucking Iowa or just And they're like, like, What are you doing? You did Molly? And then you forget that you're talking to seventh grade kids and fucking they have no clue and that if you were there. Yeah, don't age, do drugs. Yeah. No, that's important too, yeah, for don't sure. Don't do drugs for sure. Definitely. Damn, I'm gonna shred this one when you leave. Jake Paul, appreciate you, man. Peace out, guys. Bye. Appreciate you, G. Jake Paul, No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes. Like, comment, subscribe, nojumper.com. If you want to get yourself a condom or a hand towel. Cop that shit. Appreciate y'all. Peace. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Jake Paul. Make sure to like that and subscribe to No Jumper. If you like this clip, make sure to watch the full interview at No Jumper.